All right, YouTube, we back, man. It's your boy, Lazy Gamer, man. We back on that fight night today. As y'all can see, we hopping back into the OWC, man. Lightweight division, man. Pull up on me. Pull up on me. Let's see what's happening, man. My hill divers crash. So I guess I'll get out of break. I don't know what's up with my webcam. It keep going. Is that Cat Williams? Really? Come on, bro. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I saw his face before I could read his name. Come on, cat. Come on, cat. Let's do it for the culture, man. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it, cat. Come on, bruh. Oh, cat don't want to fight. That's funny. That's funny. Hey, that's by far the best face can I done seen. I ain't even going to hold you. That's, that's the... <laughs> That one funny as hell. I'm not gonna hold you. I like that. Oh, uh, that's funny. I needed that laugh. I ain't gonna lie to you. But yeah, man. I think Hell Divers is out on council. I ain't. I was saying I wish it was out. I think it is out on council. If I'm not mistaken. Let me see. <clears throat> Let me see for your. No, Hell Divers 2 will be released exclusively for PC, PlayStation 5. Ah, uh, that's it. It's only on... Damn, that's fucked up. I know a couple people with a PlayStation 5. Matter of fact, let me tell my nigga. Download Hell Divers 2. That shit cracking. <clears throat> All right. I don't think we're going to get a match. I might have to do some, uh, I don't really like my, I don't want to play lightweight no more. But I will if I have to. <clears throat> All right. Let's get it. Damn. I'm going to have to run in the kitchen real quick. Everybody, glad you made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for our main event. Ten hey, if y'all, hey, shout out to everybody who subscribed. Matter of fact, let me pop, pop this on so I can see who was the last one. Banks is making his way to the ring now, and he looks very focused for this fight. Never mind. Don't worry about it, y'all. For some reason, my shit ain't working like it's supposed to. Come on, Undertaker, man. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. All the talk, all the hype. Now the fight. Round one scheduled for ten. Let's give you something to look for in this fight tonight. They always say straight is great. He's a big believer in that. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's been taught well. You know, those are fundamentals. Those are things that stay with you and given to you. His trainer gave them to him. Banks is turning into a star. Why? Because he has power. The one thing that people want to see. 
What should we expect to see in that power? Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. The Undertaker showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Halfway through round number one. Banks is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Bitch. Good exchange. He fires back. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Good flush shot by Banks. Watch the headshot. Oh, what Come on, man. bro. The Undertaker's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Banks is rocked, and his defense is porous right now. He could go down at any moment. Well, the problem is he's got the habit of blocking punches. When a guy's put them together, you can't block them all. Some are getting close. To the end of the round. This is gonna be a tough fight. An all -out action fight. And straight got some extras on me. If you catch my drift. To get the last word in. <sighs> Are you losing this fight? I need you to take some Jay, he rocked me twice. He shouldn't be losing. So a fresh round is underway. But is it a fresh fighter? Banks's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. There's the combo to the body. Yeah, that's it. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Banks's punch didn't come close. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Showing you some defense there with the block. Very accurate two punch combo by Banks. Good looking right hand after he got hit. to these punches like he ain't scared to get knocked out <clears throat> the kind of boxer that wants to do just that find the target get the combination working land both punches covers up nicely gets rid of his opponent's body shot Banks' attitude in that last round really <clears throat> paid off. You saw he was right. a much busier fighter. I'm at the box, buddy. And round number three is underway. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body, and this time he adds the right hand on the back end. Well placed hook. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Banks is left landing well. The Undertaker's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. Banks has success so far just based on his pure hand and foot speed. But the Undertaker's in bad shape. 
Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, <coughs> they get caught. You better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Oh, and they decide to trade there. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Yeah! Fires right back at him. Keep working the box. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Left hook, right hand, well done, especially to the body. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Bay. <clears throat> and that does it for this round. All right. <laughs> so round number four. Let's go. Banks has been looking very good early on. Teddy, you have him up three rounds to zip. I think that's the only way you can have it right now, although I've thought that before and the judges see it a different way, but he's been aggressive and he's been effective. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Banks is hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? <laughs> Nothing there on the punch by Banks. right now he was tagged and just like that he's able to turn the undertaker's big shot you bitch let's fucking go you bitch quit playing with me undertaker my fucking ass you can't hit me with that straight you don't got shit coming for you Stupid. Stupid. So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits. Have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. A little head knocking with that right hand. Accurate counter punch by Banks. The Undertaker's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracks in it. Yeah, it does. And the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek -a defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed. So he's putting together three, four, or five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's going to come Whooping his ass. I'm whooping his ass. Attitude over in the corner. You can tell they want to repeat performance. Come on. Knockdown round they just had. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Stupid. The Undertaker's rushed by a big left hand. Boy, he is shaky right there. He is on shaky ground in the ring right now. A crushing two-punch combo by Banks. The Undertaker showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Carries Ooh. a punch, puts one in there. The Undertaker showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. The Undertaker showing you a little defensive skill there as he'll move away from that punch. Banks showing us a real, real great round now. Back and forth after he did the hurting, he's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting.
Banks is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Relax, relax. Not the most hard charging with that right hand. Banks is putting his punch. Did you see Let's go. Let's go, big dog. That's a battle. Let's get it. I like this shit. I like this shit. Come on. No, no, no. Get up, get up, get up, big dog. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out. Yeah. What a reveal. That's what I'm talking about right here. This is a fucking fight, bro. You really can this is a fucking fight. Yeah, they both came here. I mean, they're in the best shapes of their career. They came here understanding what this fight means. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Mm. Well, he missed that right. The Undertaker's showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But, Teddy... That game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways, I'd tell him good because you have to go with what you have. You know, you can't completely change. That's not possible in the course of a fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. That has to be done better. Good block by Banks. Banks got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's Ooh. leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? See, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. All out action throughout this round. Let's Come see on, how they focus. finish it up. Back and forth exchange. The Undertaker's got a way of just getting away from that punch. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say, when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Super two punch combo by Banks. Not able to land the headshot. He is oh my God! He could be on the deck in moments. So the round Fuck. to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back in Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter and we're able to pick up that insurance but the thing that i want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort it's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people thanks his trainers are doing a good job aren't they teddy carol was rocked but now look at him yeah they're giving them the right advice you know they made a little strategic change here a little bit of an adjustment that's what you like to see. Not just the fighter thinking, but the corner. The support team thinking. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. The Undertaker's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. Good combination with a flush left hook to the body and then that right hand. The Undertaker swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Well placed body shot again. combination there is going to impress the judges. Ooh. He 
needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Shit. I did, nigga. Eddie scorecard does have it clearly in one direction. Banks has earned that lead on the scorecards, but his opponent has also done some damage. Yeah, it hasn't been exactly a picnic. I mean, it started off that way, but the ants are coming. They're starting to get over things a little bit here. It's getting a little hairy. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Banks. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand score. A headshot blocked. To the head he goes with a left hand. Oh, what an exchange! A well placed left hand up top. Keep your head moved. Relax, relax. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Locks away that headshot. <laughs> Gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Good defense, just covering up down low. That did me dirty. Deep breath. Relax. The ninth round is here. The Undertaker's got something to prove as we start this round now. To himself, to his opponent, to the referee. Remember how he finished the last round. Exactly, Joe, but this is boxing. Before he could prove anything, he better discover something. Are his legs okay? Are they under him? Before he goes out there too fast and finds out they're not, and he wobbles all over the place, and he gets caught again. Locks a shot and pulls the trigger. Banks putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Off target with that hook. Oh, my God. He just scored with. They doing me dirty. The other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. Take the eight. He pulled out, pulled out into a Take world the eight. of trouble. A world of punches. They cheat me, man. Banks is up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Great right was lined up, but he missed. Nice block by Bane. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Bro, he's taking a lot of... Yeah, I'll get it back in blood, my guy. He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Let's fucking go. I get my shit back in blood, bro. I'm not going. Get your ass up, bro. Get up. Let's go. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. The Undertaker's left, working well that time. And he catches a lucky break. Saved by the Now he got spam the straight. Yeah, right away you think, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want
want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first. Wow. What team just ate a power straight? The Undertaker's showing some real guts here. Hey, this fight was not going his way at all, but somehow he has gathered momentum. Yeah, he behaved like a fighter. He got through the tough times, and now guess what? Good times in front of him. Gotta try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Combination punching is working well here. Oh, and I ain't let me flip in no more. I gotta get her. Well, what do they say, Teddy? Something's gotta stick. That combination was something. Well, you know what it was? The first couple punches were throwaway punches, set up the later punches. Good solid combination. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And what a clever combination by Banks. They didn't want me to knock him out. What you're gonna get in this point. They didn't want me to knock him out. Ooh, let's fucking go. That was tough. Hey, buddy, tough. Buddy fighter, tough as hell. Dog. Oh, he was chucking them power shots, bro. Fuck that. He was eating them hoes. That was a good fight. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I play Fight Night right there, man. That was a battle. That was a fucking battle right there. Did I get my dub? I don't think I did. I don't know. I forgot my record. Shit. <clears throat> Man, I heard EA canceled all the games for this year. Stupid ass. They said the only thing they working on is basketball. Ain't nobody playing 2K. Ain't nobody buying no more 2Ks, man. That shit done, bro. Could have made a fight night, bro. What's wrong with y'all? I'm not buying 2K. I ain't even buy the last one. Come on, Cat, man. We can get this going, bro. Don't wanna, Cat don't want to fight me, cuz. Cat don't want no smoke. He a bitch. Not the real Cat Williams. It's fake Cat Williams, though. So. Hold on. Mmm. Reach too much. I ain't about to do that. And he got a zero percent. Do not finish rate. That's not good. <clears> hmm. <throat> <sighs> Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, motherfucker. I don't know where that came from, y'all.
I'm I'm sleepy. I'm a little sleepy right now. Gotta make some shorts, y'all. That ain't a big difference, though. What y'all think? I don't think that's a big difference, bro. You got me on reach. So, you got a little advantage. I got a little advantage. Let's get it cracking, though. <clears throat> serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Black. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Black. Good return fire that time. What does the orthodox fighter have to be conscious of of guarding against that right hook from the southpaw? I mean, he's got his left hand out there, but a non-traditional defensive structure for him being set up like that. Yeah, absolutely. He has to remember that that punch will come from that angle, and usually he has no danger coming from that angle. So he has to make sure when he jabs, that shoulder is up against his chin. So if the hook does come, it hits the shoulder, not the chin. Oh, his opponent got away from that uppercut. Nice block by Banks. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Black. Little head-hunting with the left. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're gonna see. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Black. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. <clears throat> That was a stupid ass round. I feel like he won that. He was spamming this uh straight a lot. Shit. <sighs> Damn, that's a lot of spam loss. Twelve percent. You gotta breathe. Just breathe. Relax. How you feeling out there? Are you not winning? Uh, I probably took the round. I ain't gonna throw no power yet. I'm gonna save it. Stop throwing power punches. Mm. Here we go. How the fuck you throw that? Underway. Little volume punching to the body there. Wax hurt by a big shot. He scores with the jab there. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit. Stop this flow. See the deep. 
defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Able to block and counter back. Black's doing a beautiful job here early on of counterpunching. Yeah, it's gonna pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. But counterpunching pays off too because your opponent becomes a little tentative and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Black's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Opponent landing an effective counter punch right there. Black's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Non stop energy from both guys in this round. The final minute. Bro, he's throwing non stop. Black's doing well here with that two punch combination. Hit the elusive target with that straight right. Punches and bunches, combination up top. How the fuck is he still punching like that? He throw a power straight and then throw four other straights after that motherfucker. When we come to town, with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on that shit crazy. When they take us out to a steak dinner, yeah, you know, I don't trust you. Me fighters, a little bit. You know the fighters that we see that have very, yeah, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they, they do. They, 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 see that? That was six of them. No, they, they can't don't. reach for the wallet. No, they don't. And. I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table, but great guy. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Banks. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. That was a miss by Black. And now they're trading blows. That's what the old timers want to see. Combination punching by Banks. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. He comes back with the left hand again. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And he returns on that exchange. Nice block by Bay. Black's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Good block by Black. Banks is almost looking foolish that time he missed so bad. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Blocks that punch. Ass whooping he taking. Solid right hand lands. Focus. 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 Black's put forth a little boom, boom, boom. A three punch combination score. Side to side. Bruh, that shit crazy. Banks is ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. By a mile, that wasn't even close by Black. Bang supplying an old axiom in sports, and that is speed kills. He's got plenty of it in the ring tonight. Yes, he does. It's going to be up to his opponent now to find a way to take away that speed, find something that can offset that speed. And I think that starts with controlling range. Get out of the range where he can control you. He can Bro, he's not slowing down for shit. Rode away that body with the combination punching. Oh, I ain't seen him slow down for nothing. He got hit right 
there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Black. Good combination by Banks. shot it was a straight left hand black so dangerous with that accuracy a two punch combination landing unable to make an impact there by black back and forth they go each man getting the best of it comes right back with a shot of his own good work with come on this 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 shit cheating <laughs> this shit cheating, bro. This man just throwing. Yeah, you know what? He ain't gassing either. Because I always say that about this business. Where are the teachers? Where are the trainers? He should be able to get away from punches. With his experience, he should do a better job than he's been doing tonight. Banks is going well with the hook on the inside again. But Teddy, I'm looking at it. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Teddy, he's been big, big. So dumb eyes down, bro. He was standing up to Bitch ass nigga. Keep hitting this nigga, bro. Little stupid. One, two, three, four. They just begin on here pressing all the buttons for real, for real. Unable to score with the hook. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Get off the well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Black. Keep it up. Not hitting it. There it is. Can he get up from there? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's over. This fight is over. Black's unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. Banks' power that we saw throughout the night, building a lead on your scorecard, now ends the night. All right. Let's get another one in. I think I should play 10 fights. What y'all think? What's that number? Four? I don't know. I think I'm going to do 10. Y'all hit the like button and subscribe button if y'all are new to the channel. Got to say that every fucking stream. I wish I didn't have to, but I do. Shout out to everybody that already liked the video. I appreciate y'all. Y'all dope. Y'all dope. Y'all know the assignment, man. Y'all know what time it is. <clears throat> Oh, we're almost at the halfway point to 800, man. 740. We're approaching that, man. Let's just go ahead and get that real fast, man. Let's do it fast, not slow. Let's do it fast, not slow. Let's do it fast and not slow, gentlemen and ladies. I don't think too many ladies watching this. I ain't going to hold you. Probably like five. Five or six. Matter of fact, let's make it seven. Seven, the lucky number. <sighs> let's see. 
Come on, y'all. <laughs> Come on, Cat Williams. Come on, cat. Just run it. Just run it, man. I don't even think you got a fight in the day. I ain't gonna hold you. Well, no, nah, that's a little steep. I'll take it easy on you. I ain't gonna use my straight. I'll just use my jab. How about it? That sounds pretty fair. No straights from me. I can't throw no straights. No? I bet. Fuck it. I'll back out. I get it. Cat Williams don't want no smoke. No fucking action. Alright. See, he was up above me a little bit. Let's get it. Let's see what he got. I think I beat him up before. I don't know. He looked familiar, though. All right, now I'm going to tell y'all what I'm thinking in my head. All right, he big as hell. Trying to stay away from his left. Because he... Truly dynamic. It's the kind of stuff that could end this fight early on. Yeah, it is, but there's a danger to that, too. Damn. Look long, how he's throwing he it. His way early on, maybe he's spamming this. The next generation's resorting to dirty tactics. That was a headbutt. Oh, don't be no bitch-ass nigga, man. And now he's got to be careful because he's been warned for the headbutting. Really good work. He wanted them. The two punches in sequence by Banks. Banks's defense is paying off now. Well placed counter punch by Banks. The next generation showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Uh, you see him with the left of the head there? Banks has got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Wow, impactful short hook got to him that time. That's not going to be easy to survive. You, bro, you pussy, bro. <laughs> you pussy. <laughs> Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Banks. Banks is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Big, big shot he just scored with. Now, did he fuck? Did he block it? What was that? You seen that? What was that? Did he glitch my punch? Did y'all see that? He didn't block it. The fuck was that? He punched my punch. That's some hoe ass shit. Back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. That shit whack as hell. And the knockdown was scored. Now Teddy. He lost the point. How do you treat him? Do you go do you go soft on him when he comes back or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. 
You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Well-targeted combination by Banks. Wow, is he defensively sound. Good job, good job, champ. Scored well to the body again. He just missed that shot up top. The next generation's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. That's okay, Bring him back. And now another left. intended for the head the next generation's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now that counter punch landed with some success well he's got the attitude something's got to stick he fires off the combination and they both do he missed with that headshot A strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those. Time. The next you generation is gonna get a point deduction here for that clash point. of heads. The referee now feels that it's purposeful what he's doing and he's deducting the point. Bro, he throwing that straight crazy. Y'all see this cheating ass shit. Y'all see this cheating ass shit. In there, you know, you can only use certain things. Avatine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Banks is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. The next generation's legs can't fail him now. Oh, my, is he taking damage. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. Teddy, why is it in boxing that there are so many distinct styles that are defined by geography or culture or ethnicity where we have a Mexican styled fighter, an Eastern European, you know, upright fighter, an American styled fighter. Why is that? Because you are influenced by your surroundings, by the temperament of the people in your surroundings. Banks is tagged. Momentum has shifted. Wow, a big plus blow, the left hand by Banks. There he is working the body. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Nice block. Great work offensively landing that combination by Banks. The next generation's punch is far off the target. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. He targets his opponent after blocking a shot. Stupid bitch. <sighs> Man, fuck, dude. Round number four, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. The next generation's trailing by a round, but in all honesty, Teddy, he's very much in this fight, having Keep scored moving. a knockdown. Having scored a knockdown on the cards, but also mentally knowing he can hurt his opponent. He ain't reacting to a pump. 
He's not reacting to punches. Utilizing the uppercut when he's chest to chest, shoulder to shoulder against his opponent here. Oh, you have to recognize situations, and he understands on the inside that's exactly what you should be doing. When your opponent has his gloves up, there's an opening to split the guard. Look at that. When he's leaning forward, and he's leaning forward just a little bit. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. The next generation is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Oh, yes! Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Halfway through this round here. Good combination to the body. Fall! Fall! Not able to land the uppercut. For him himself, and it's a left hand. What a nice combo by Banks. The next generation's movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Come on, bro. What the fuck is that? We hit each other. Get your ass up, bro. This shit annoying. What up, my boy? Now, Cat Williams do not want to want to fight. On what? <laughs> Why he ain't want to fight me? This nigga cheating for real. So right now, they can't concentrate just on telling them things, and he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him, and they got to right now, they have to revive him. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. I got something for that. Bang, combination punching is working well here. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He missed that uppercut. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. The next generation's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Comes across with a hook up top. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. The next generation's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. This boy throwing like a motherfucker. Well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. Able to dismiss that body shot. Lands the left after setting it up with a jab. The next generation's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They're the ones that wind up landing. <sighs> Mark, double jab. Oh, 
Bro, how many punches can I counter him on before he go down, bro? This shit is stupid. Bro, he gas. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. There's the combo downstairs. He definitely cheating. <laughs> You stupid bitch. You think I was gonna catch your dumb ass? Get your bitch ass up. And you better not quit, pussy. Let's fucking go. He cheating, bro. That's how he not going down. He cheating. But his shit done, he done used it all. A bitch ass on. Shouldn't he be gassing out? He not. You see that shit? The next generation's head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight. Right yeah, it is. And his opponent right now is not making adjustments. As a matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting. And the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated. Ass out here cheating like a motherfucker. He only even got a cut. Downstairs to the place that's not moving. Down to the body. Good looking two punch combination there. <laughs> Unable to connect by Banks. Banks is doing well here with that two punch combination. Look at this. He's. with a straight left hand. Banks is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Oh, what a whiff by Banks. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. The next generation showing us a side that we haven't seen before. Come on, bro. Yes, it did. And he's hoping that right now that it confuses his opponent. Don't be so sure he's going to stay with this, Joe. He might just be doing it for a diversion tactic. You know, just to survive right now, maybe buy him a little bit of time, confuse his opponent, keep his Come on, power. That was a power. Come on. We'll look out for that. He just uploaded some more cheats, y'all. They cheating. Or he cheat me. Look, how he blocked that counter with no stam left. Come on. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Cheating ass nigga! He cheating like a bitch right now. I mean, real, real curious to see how this plays out as we start round number eight. Close fight, but he is ahead on your scorecard. How the fuck you win that last round? Dealing with damage to his face. Well, there's different ways to test a fighter, Joe, and you never really know until they're tested. One way is he gets caught a good shot. Maybe he gets dropped. He gets up. He behaves like a champion. He behaves like a fighter. Another way is he gets cut. How does he behave? How does he handle I'm hitting him with all these shots, bro. Come on. Flush with the combination upstairs. Banks is whipping there. A big wide sweep. Bro, he is gas. Yes, it is, and you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that, and the next time he's going to capitalize. You cheating ass, pussy ass bitch. You not going to beat me, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. You can cheat all you want to. I'm a dog, your dumb ass. Let's fucking go, man. Niggas ain't fucking with me on this game. Get your bitch ass up. Cheating ass niggas, man. That's the worst shit ever. Come on. Come on, bitch. 
Yeah, we're getting a peek Come on. now into his heart, into his soul. Come on. Accurate with a straight left. You don't got shit for me. Stupid ass Still nigga. Cheating and still getting your ass whooped. That's crazy. That's crazy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's fucking go. You a bitch. You a bitch. You can't fuck with me, you pussy. Get off the game. Let's fucking go. This this nigga y'all. This nigga y'all. You fucking pussy. Bro, cheating like a motherfucker, bro. That's blatant mod right there. All his punches were still full speed. He throwing shit in between taking body shots, power body shots at that. Yeah. Definitely cheating. I ain't know. I noticed thoroughly. You've been cheating since the beginning. You bitch. Let's fucking go. Nigga go DQ himself. No, take that ass whooping, you pussy. He ain't even good, bro. You couldn't. Even, I made him. Look, I made it so blatant that he couldn't hide it. He had to disqualify himself. He know what time it was. He know what time it was. How I get down on this game is a little bit different, man. The fuck? You can cheat if you want to. I still might beat you. Crazy. That's crazy work. Should I upgrade this straight to the face? Take it in the face? Mmm. Yeah, let's get that body straight up. Man, I needed that, man. I was a good dub for real. I work for that. Because if you would have beat me, I would have been pissed off. I would have been pissed. Oh. Why niggas on the game cheating, though? That's so, that's so female. I don't understand, bro. Like, take your ass whooping, bro. Learn. Oh. The way he came out at the beginning of the fight, I knew he was smarted. I don't think I'm going to take this, bro. Yeah, I appreciate him for backing out. He had 88. Mm -mm, that's a little steep. That's a little steep. Quit cheating. Y'all do not got to cheat. I'll let him decide. He can back out or not. He took it. I ain't gonna try to roll over buddy like that though. I'ma I'm practice boxing on him. Early on here, we're gonna focus in on a lot of what these fighters have to offer. But when you look at him right away, Teddy, you notice his commitment to the body. That straight shot to the body of his. Well, that's because you've been talking to his banker. You know, body work is like going to the bank. You know, putting money in the bank. You get interest later on. He's depositing a lot down there. Bad intentions is on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. Not precise at all by Banks. Banks is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good combination by Banks. I ain't tried to do that. Free power shot. Don't hit. There you go. I ain't tried to do that shit. Oh, and he's going to 
front to the body well. Very nice defensive guard there. I like the way he went up top that time. That was a good jumping punch. Banks is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. He needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Banks is able to land a good, solid left hand. Something has to change here. He can Hell yeah. Another round like the round yeah, I ain't losing none yet. Look at his face. Yeah, sometimes, you know, if it's a battle, if it's a battle in a real war, sometimes you got to retreat. You have to know when to retreat. I think it's time right now you retreat a little bit. You know, you hold on. You blow this round. You don't worry about winning this round. But you get yourself together, get a little rest, and then you start making a plan of attack the next round. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counterpunch. Look like the will of the whips, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Come on, kid. Bump. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Bad intentions is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Banks is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Each man able to land an uppercut. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. And something you got to start early and stay with. A solid one-two combo, left-right by bad intentions. Banks' defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. He want to bang out? I'm going to bang out with him. I'm surprised he ain't go down by now. Teddy Atlas. And looking up at these corners, you can see the cutman obviously getting to work as they do after every round. What? He makes a great cutman. <laughs> well, he's got to have the right medicine, the right coagulants to stop that. Usually Avatine. Man, he, I don't know. His block is a little crazy. Thing, Joe, is he has to be calm. He has to be able to identify where that cut is. Maybe there's more than one cut. You got to be calm enough. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Oh, he's hurt. He was hurt right there. But now he's grabbing on like it's a life preserver. And he's going to have to stay there if he's going to get through these rapids. He's tied, yeah. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Banks is on the inside landing hooks now. Boy, his opponent, I'm surprised he's not able to defend himself better than that. Combo lands upstairs. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. Tried the hook, didn't get it. You can tell he's just looking to survive. Bad intentions is holding his opponent right now, just hugging him. Yeah, he's doing what he has to do. Look, they work on this in the gym, Joe. We look at all the things where you work on the pads, you work on the heavy bag, putting punches together, but you work on this on moments. This should be gas. And when you have to survive. And yet another right hand lands. Done that time, landing the counter punch. Missed the target with that hook. That's crazy. Beautiful. I got a cut. Beautiful. Round number four is underway. Teddy's got it a clean sweep. Banks has taken the first three rounds, and Teddy, it's not always the number one indicator. 
But in this case, he's simply just throwing more punches, and that's why he's up on your scorecard. Yeah, Joe, he's keeping his opponent defensive, and he's not allowing him to do anything back. Bad intentions is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. Big left hand. Committing up top now, he goes there again. Intentions is in bad shape, but he's doing the only thing he can at this point. He's tying up. Yeah, but what I'm a little surprised at, and I think what his opponent's going to pay a price for later on, he's letting him tie up. And a well-placed combination by Banks. Bad intentions is way off the mark. That punch is... He is damaged badly there. Wow! Bad intentions is on the canvas. He goes down. Our first knockdown of this fight. <clears throat> yeah, I'm on the heater right now. I don't even know how many fights I done fought. Nah, send that message, bro. Quit playing with me, Xbox. Send my message. Send my goddamn message, Xbox. Quit playing with me, cuz. Still go quick like a little bitch. What's wrong with y'all, man? Take y'all L's, bro. And ain't that deep. You lost, nigga. You was losing. That was still my L, my W. Fuck wrong with you. I want to avoid him because he gay. Fucking loser. All right, come on. I think I'm going to play three. I'm going to do three more. Do three more. My record should be like 50 right now. 50 and 5. According to my estimations, 50 and 5. I should be 50 and 5. Let's see where I'm at on the leaderboards. Dang, I keep falling. How many games is they playing a day? God damn. Last time I, <laughs> last time I checked, I ain't get the W. He quit. That's how they rob you of your W's, man. They be quitting out the match and shit. And I don't think his uh fighter really a uh, uh, 78. Because he took a lot of damage. And he ain't go down. But he just so trash. It, it, it make it look like he really a 78. I don't think he really is one. I think he was cheating. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Damn, the first time I checked, I was at 58. I mean, 56. Now I'm at a thousand, eleven hundred and what, one? <laughs> and I ain't played for like a couple days. Yeah, he got up out of there. When I got the knockdown, he got up out of there. Which is pussy, but it be like that, though. He turned the game off. <laughs> <laughs> I made him turn the game off. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. Let me go grab something. I'm about to go, go grab something real quick. Mm. I'll be right back. Mm. <clears throat> 
I'm bad. I'm bad. Pour that little drink up. My cup was empty, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. I'm going crazy today. Hey, new people, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. See, I'm getting good at saying it real fast. That's that YouTube speech. No, I'll say it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button real quick. I appreciate y'all. Okay, Jace, whatever. Can you unlock your profile so we can fight? Yeah, it'd be like that. I don't cry over the spilled milk though. They do that all. That's that's been since I've been playing on this motherfucker. Ain't nobody to, you know, regulate it. So they just do it. They try to maintain their record. I just take my L's. You know, it just be like that. You lose, you lose, bro. Live to fight another day. It just be like that. I got to make some shorts, bro. That's a bad thing. I need to start documenting. Like, when I do something real good in the game, document what time. Do a little time stamp or something because I ain't fighting, buddy. I ain't fighting, buddy. <laughs> Two to three points. Maybe even four I take. But six, nah, that's five and six. That's a little up there. That's too much of an uphill for me. Too much of an uphill. <clears throat> Let me level up a little bit more. If I was at 83, I would have took it. Mmm. You want me? What was he a 79? What a what? 79? 78 with a 79 inch reach? I ain't, I ain't check it out. That's a big boy. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Banks' power has been shown off early on in his fights. Teddy. What effect could his power have early in this fight? Well, if he catches his opponent, it could be an early night. But if he catches his opponent, his opponent survives it, guess what? It could be a long night, fans. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Banks. Not an accurate hook at all. Solid straight right hand. Punches together. Good combination by Allen. Back to the body. Comes right back at him with a left hand. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nice strike after catching one by Allen. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Banks is starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three punch combo. Boy, this ain't no easy work. This ain't no easy work. I'll beat your ass. Banks is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do land punches in bunches. The combination lands. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hackler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that. So far, so good. Bad intentions is combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. Now you got to see that coming. Let's go. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores one. Wow, beat your ass, boy. I got real slick with it that time. In our fights, Teddy, it's always great anticipation when we come sit ringside in the build up of what's gonna happen. Nah, he don't got shit coming. He about to take a beating. It's gonna take me a minute. Not gonna lie to you. Go. I got the black stick back. I have to fix it, bro. I have to pop the cover off and redo my uh. What's that? The thumbstick? Fixed it. I got this one just sitting here. This is the new one. 
This is gonna see. This is gonna be the backup. I should take it back, but no. Nah, I'll keep it. That'd be my travel controller. Here we go. Round two is underway. There's the combo to the body. Off the target by Banks. How about that exchange? You don't got nothing for it. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Blocked that punch. Jab pulled by the straight by Allen. Keep that head moving. Banks is proving to be elusive. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good step back counter punch there. Good job on the two punch combo by Banks. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Allen. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Boy, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm putting on. I got something for you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm putting something on you so cold. Come on. Come on, let's get it. Now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Nice block by Allen. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. I'm about to put something on you so cold. But I want you to keep those hands moving. Don't let it keep this I want you to take that range away. He can't do anything when you're close to him. He can't do nothing when I'm close. He can't do nothing when I'm on the outside either. with a big task at hand. They've got to make sure that their fighter has his senses back after being knocked down. Playing a trap there for a moment and then scoring that counter punch by Banks. Banks' speed to me, Teddy, is clearly the biggest difference we've seen so far tonight. Yeah, but there's ways to take away speed. One is to go downstairs to the body and start to discourage the guy a little bit. You know, take some of the air out of those sails. Jab, uppercut, both upstairs. Allen's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Allen. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Solid shot. The left hand came in. I'll let you live. Keep spamming that straight. I'm a doggy. What buddy ass? I let him live. I didn't want to kill him too early. Have him cut that spamming shit out though. I right, cut that out, bro. You have to double 
the jam. All right, look, he's timing you. Every time you come in, I want to see. Hey, who got a PS5, bro? In the chat, who got a PS5? I need, I need a squad for hill divers. Really frustrating his opponent now. Banks is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. More than one punch downstairs, that can be damaging. right back at him with a left hand. Banks is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Allen's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Bad intentions is corner is concerned. Their fighter may go down here. Well, he just went from hunted to hunter. And now he's going to track him down. Pace yourself. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Now I got shit coming. Three, four, five. Ah, I should I should fight that nigga that's 88. He'll probably get my blood going a little bit. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Keep it going. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Teddy, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are. How badly each guy wants it. Joe, this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do about legacy. How they're going to be remembered. My little skinny ass going crazy on these niggas, man. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. I just I need to wash my hair and cut it, y'all. I'm out here looking rough, bro. That's cause I don't plan on going nowhere no time soon. Some guys get carried away. My son's birthday coming up. Well these guys they're gonna have a stomach ache at the end. I don't know what to get him. Cause he a baby. I'm just feeding him real good. We gonna go to Applebee's or something. He look like mashed potatoes type shit. Blocks it away. Pulls the trigger on the overhand left. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. out there he avoided that punch <laughs> keep moving keep moving do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him yeah. Allen stunned Stay by that shot hey keep fighting just let's go good exchange he fires back Allen's got to do a better job he is getting rocked Showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Pace yourself.
come to the end of the round. And maybe now decision time for the corner here. And Teddy, talk to me about and throw the tire lane. Player knows his guys had enough. Well, you have to know your guy. You have to know how physically, how he emotionally reacts from the gym. Where he's at a point where I'm too skilled for buddy. You know that he can't take anymore. You have to know your guy, Joe. You have to know how he reacts to punches. You've seen him in the gym before, and you have to be able to recognize that immediately and say, you know what? <laughs> this guy's in a place that I gotta get him out of. Bad attentions is wanting the counter punch here, but that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that, but you know. People under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring, especially, you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy fought kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Nice work on the combination by Banks. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Just misses with that headshot. What an excellent two-punch combo by Bang. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Solid. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. <laughs> but his desire is just as strong as it was before. Yo, big ass down, man. I does this show. I'm sorry. I think I'm locked in too hard today. I'm beating the mods. I'm beating all these niggas, man. That's it. The fight he probably is quit. Banks is hand to be raised <sighs> in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, it's a... mm -hmm. Hey, hey. All right, one more. This last. Let me. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. How long I've been streaming? Mm. How long I've been streaming? Cause um. Mm. Oh, I'm looking on my phone. Hour and thirty minutes. Shall I take it? I'll take it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this turn out. What was he at? 84 with an 80 inch reach? If he pushed straight spam, I don't know. Most people with belts are modded. They be cheating like a motherfucker. Let's see though. I don't think I'm going to win. See? Yeah. Uh, four. Oh. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Good flush, straight left hand. Yeah, he might it. Might it. He might it. Them all power. There going upstairs. Blocks that belt line well. Banks's combination punching is working well here. How you do you seen it? The double through the body straight. You see that? Blocks that punch. Banks is in a bad spot. Told you if he pushed straight. Now, why your modded ass got a belt? If you go mod, just be regular. These niggas be OC as hell. You might as well not have a belt, bro. 
he is made of getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. Good defensive skill with the block by Banks. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the killer. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Look, he punches through. Look, he punches through power. Look, he punching through punches. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden. Look at that. That shit cheating like a motherfucker. <laughs> that shit cheating like a motherfucker. This shit ass, bro. He shouldn't be, and he paid a price. He not worried about getting knocked out. He just going to spam me. He going to push spam me because he know he not taking damage. He could just do that. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or he watched Look. a movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Yep. Great movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight the fight. They had to get into the mountains where the greater forces, the great army, could not be the great army. They could not get in there and battle where they could take advantage of their superior forces. That's what he's got to do. Banks is clearly affected by that. Hooks on the inside. Oh. Good block by Banks. Yeah. Oh. How about that left? Bruh, right? come on. Still no defense out of him. They're just letting the shit come through the guard. You can't even block it. All you gotta do is keep throwing it. It's gonna come through. What the fuck? I'm making him keep spamming this shit. Question becomes after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this way instincts kick in. You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't wanna stay in the middle. The killer's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. You see he's got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head. Targeting Come on, bro. Left hand. Unable to score with the hook. Bro, you can't even get away from that. Everybody's time holding on. Nice block by Banks. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. The killer's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Gets rid of that body shot. And your speed turned up. It's the end of round two. Blatant cheating ass, bitch. Is something special. Look how he just stays on the outside early on in this fight and is able to find his target. Well, you're right, Joe. It's Look at his speed. I mean, he's in the neighborhood. He wants he to 84. Out. I'm at 82. I can't recreate nothing he doing. Good way to protect the midsection. He pushing me without breaking his guard. There's the old one two coming after him. The killers. The longer this longer this fight go. His opponent's got to be wondering how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you you made a good point there because He threw two power straights after taking a power to the body. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combination. He's not getting off. Banks's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Nice work, the left hand to the head. How his straight faster than his jab? You see that shit? Look. Look. Look at it. Get out the corner. Stay away from the corner. Come on, bro. Yeah, I see how fast your speed is. Your straight faster than your jab. And stop this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Y'all some immoral bitches on this motherfucker. I just want to. I just want my stream to see it. Y'all seen that shit, bro? Y'all. That's not skill, bro. 161 straights. 131 power straights. As y'all can see. He throwing power like a regular straight. That's a mod, bro. You can't do that for real. You cannot throw that punch like that. You see how slow mine is. He at 84. You can't throw that punch like that. It's impossible. As far as the regular game is. Only a mod can give you that type of... Because he throwing it like a jab. But that's his power straight. Everybody with a belt play like that. I haven't met somebody with a belt that play normal. They spam, they spam power like it's regular, regular shit, and it's not. As y'all can see, he threw sixty straights, a hundred and thirty-one power shots. Those were the straights he was throwing. You can't do that, especially at that speed. I ain't going to say you can't throw 160 power straight. Because you can. But not like that. Your fighter will gas out real quick. You can't throw them back to back. Especially if you miss. Or especially if they block. You can't throw four or five in a row. Probably throw two max. Definitely. Definitely cheating. It's cool, my boy. <sighs> nah, he not cheating. And you a 450. Yeah, you definitely a mob player, bro. Your account brand new. Stop. Stop it, sir. Don't insult my intelligence. I've been playing this game too long. You know when something not normal. Or something out of the ordinary. That's what that was. I should be like my boy and throw in the towel. Because if he cheap, he not going to get the dub for real. But I'll take it. I just wanted to show y'all what the niggas with the belts play like. It's real players and then it's people with the belts. That's what they play like. Some people can beat them though. I just don't got the block to be blocking 130-something power straights that's coming like jabs. Because all he was going to do is keep spamming it, and he not going to get tired either. He should have been gassed after that first round, according to the type of punches he was throwing. He should have made it out the first. Ah, it'd be like that, though. But y'all, that, that's a that's a cheater right there. He got the shit maxed out. Like it, it don't even look realistic though. Shit, he almost spammed himself out too. Be like that though. But let's get back on this win streak. 
I don't even count that as a duck. I don't even count that as a loss. But it count as far as my record, but I ain't go count it. I ain't gonna count. I knew what was gonna happen anyway. I did it for y'all just to show y'all what be going on in here. Damn, he got six hundred and thirty-three thousand subscribers. That's crazy, man. That's a lot of motherfuckers. Do he be cammed up? Hell yeah. He be cammed up. <clears throat> I'll take this fight. I'm about to be dude ass. He don't know what just happened to me. I feel bad for just taking it out on him. <sighs> my boy Malik came. I ain't seen my boy in a minute. Fucking playing with me, boy. Put in that work down there. Told him. I feel bad for what I'm about to do to that boy. Quit playing with me, boy. Let's make this a good one. I mean, the physical ones are when I work with some of these. Let's make this. I have to laugh. They have to punch out, you know, with their arms. They have to make sure that they get those hands out now. If they raise their elbows, just like a fighter raises his elbows before he throws a jab, they lose the power. So you gotta teach them to keep those elbows in, punch out without any telegraph, without any loss of power, and also get those hands out at the right distance. If they're a little late, the big guy gets in on them. And now he can control him. And of course, the mental aspects of it, where they get into those dark rooms we talk about every once in a while, where they have to remember that they have control. They can make the choice. You know, you get in those dark rooms, you start to think that you lose control of the choice, that your opponent's making a choice for you. No, that's not the truth. Dynamite ruined with that punch right there. Super two punch combo by Dynamite. He's punching away even though he's been stunned. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Mm, mm, mm. 
<laughs> Buddy ain't fuck with me. It's easy, bro. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Miss the body shot. Now you're seeing stamina right here. How can they possibly keep up this pace? Minutes ago in this round, and they have been all out. I know how I feel so myself. I mean, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster, except I'm not sitting, I'm standing. Dynamite's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three punch combo? He missed with that headshot. Boy, he's trying to just hit up. Pitcher great Maddox, his sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna turn some music on. It's nice. It looks nice outside. He is hurt, but he keeps coming forward. Yeah, too tough for his own good. And there's the bell. Can you believe that? He was saved by the bell. Teddy, you've been in a spot like this before as a trainer. Right now, you know what? What do you spend time on? You want to spend time on telling him why he got in that spot, why he got hit. But first, you got to make sure he revives. You got to get him clear-minded. You got to get his senses back first. Banks is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teachers. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit. But he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Banks. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Fires right back at him. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Just like that. Halfway through this round here. Combination to the head. Dynamite showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Wow, he backs up the combination, landed all four of them. Good job. Good job. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Dynamite. Good defensive skill. Banks is doing well here with that two punch combination. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Damn, they subbing hard as a bitch right now. And turn that shit down. Start of round number four. I don't know if y'all hear that. Accuracy has really carried this fight so far. He's up three rounds. Yeah, y'all can hear it. <laughs> they subbing hard as a bitch. They probably down the street. Turn them shits down. And that beat weak as hell. Turn that beak ass beat down. Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor wants. Yeah, ordered. turn that weak That's ass beat down. You're playing the instrumental and shit. And this trash. It, it sounds like one of them off hustle and flow that they made on the piano and shit. Just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Roy Jonesy. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. Halfway through round number four. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Dynamite. 
Dynamite's just punching air that time. His opponent, with, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Knocked down again. <laughs> Unreal. I have to get on buddy ass. Come on, get up, bro. I know you can get up. Let's go. I gave you opportunity. I stopped blocking and everything. Damn. Yeah, my here. opportunity. Unable to go the distance. He couldn't rise up and beat the count. Banks is your winner by not. I don't think he noticed him just spamming that jab to keep space. Drain this stamp. He shouldn't have did that. Sometimes it's good if he if I throw a punch and I hit you. Shit, you don't gotta retaliate on everything. You don't gotta retaliate. Get your shit together, then come back after me. Down there, need to make that a ticket. I'm trying to punch niggas' tickets. Man, that's even more diabolical. That's even more diabolical than the head straight. The body straight is crazy. I'm trying to punch y'all niggas' tickets. Some phone them grab. Quit playing with me. Dude was an 84. He was an 84. Buddy said he ain't cheating. Bro, you cheating, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. You ain't playing no fucking noob, bro. Don't disrespect me. Damn. Not Floyd. Fighting your bitch ass. A six foot Floyd Mayweather. Hell no. I ain't fighting no face scans today. Except for Cat Williams. If I catch Cat Williams, we got a box. Damn that weak ass beat stuck in my head now. Now Floyd mate. Go on here, Floyd. Wasn't this nigga just an 89? Or you got six of them? I ain't fighting that nigga, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. This nigga was just an 89. This nigga came back with an 85. Quit sucking dick, Floyd. Quit playing. And he got a high top. Why your Floyd got here? Well, take, well I'll take that back. Floyd got here now. <laughs> he ain't had here forever. But now he, yeah, that's the new Floyd. He got a, yeah, he can have a high top. You right, you right. You right, you right. I, I forgot. He went and got that Bosley. You know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. He got that 80 inch reach still. We ain't close. We ain't close. I'm, your reach, bro. We ain't, come on, bro. Don't don't play stupid because you did you did it. I'm six foot seventy three. That's about six foot one. You six foot with an eighty three. Yeah. Oh yeah, we we good. We good. We good. We, we good, boss. I'm, I'll pass on that. I, I feel you. You probably end up. You good. You good. You good. I ain't gonna take it though. I I decline. I decline, my boy. He was trying. Hey, he was trying to persuade me like a mug. <laughs> he said he took all his boost off. <laughs> Quit playing with me, boy. I'm gonna give you a second. I'm gonna let you match up with somebody else. I ain't find no Floyd Mayweather face game with an 80 inch reach. I know what's about to happen. Even though I really feel like I beat your ass, you know what I'm saying? I just lost. To a spamming, uh, modded ass nigga. I, I'm good for today. I only take, I only take, like, two of those per every three streams. Because most of my losses is to modded ass niggas that wasn't taking no damage. Be like that, though. Alright, gave him some time. He ain't gonna be able to get no fight. He ain't gonna be able to get no fight. That's why he took his boost off. 
I was scared. Yes, I am, sir. I was definitely scared. Yeah, I caught you talking shit. It be like that, though. It be like that. I heard y'all. I'm scared. You damn skippy. I just fought a nigga with a belt. Super modded ass niggas, man. You definitely decent. I ain't gonna lie to you. You got a Mayweather face scan, bro. I know you lying to me, bro. Oh, yeah, fuck. No, I'm straight. See, you trying to get... <laughs> you trying too hard. <laughs> he trying too fucking hard to get me to fight. He cheating, bro. Come on, get your cheating ass on, bro. I'm good. <laughs> I'm a little tipsy, but I ain't no damn dummy. Quit playing with me. Hey, if we match up again, I'm going to fight this bitch ass to say fuck it. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> I'm going to have to send him a party invite, though. Let's see. Hey, God want me to fight him if he match up with me again. Let's see. I'm about to get on his ass. I know we gonna match up again. Because I know he took the same amount of time off the fucking thing as I did. If we match up again, we gonna fight. Fuck it. But he gonna have to take this party invite. So y'all can hear his bitch ass on front of Greg complaining. <clears throat> uh, might not be matching. Don't tell me I ran through the server. Dang, I wanna play against the, the aliens. Them niggas too good. Them niggas strong. Wasn't right. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, we fighting. We fighting, but you gotta take this party invite. That's my stipulation. You, you agree? Alright, the stream got to hear the shit you talking. So. Yeah. You hear me? Oh, he done muted up. No, nah, get on the mic. Get on the mic. Why you don't want you don't want niggas to hear you? Get your ass on the mic. To the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for a much anticipated Fuck. Nah, nah, he go ghost. Nah, he go ghost, chat. Come on, man. Shit, bitch. Whole ass niggas, man. Untouchable. So this boy, outboxer. Watch this shit. He might. He might win. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good. So, so you ain't gonna talk now. 
Alright, bet. You finesse. You got a finesse or spirit. Opening three minutes of this ten round fight. Well, don't expect him to stay away from the body for long. He has been talking all week long about his want to land those straight shots downstairs. Well, his account has been telling him, go out there and invest in CDs. And that's what it's like. You go to the body, and it pays off for you later on, down the road. All right, come on. Banks is making a mockery of this right now. That guy's not even moving. He's just standing there. Hey, look. You see people quit. You see people give up in different aspects of life. He may be doing that right now. Teddy, I'd like for you to lay the framework of what we're going to see strategically here because a counterpuncher <clears throat> against a fighter who likes to do his business on the inside. If you're the counterpuncher, what are some, some of the things you need to be aware of? Uh, the right question right there. If you're the counterpuncher, catch the guy before he gets all the way inside. Do your countering when there's room and the proper place to do it as he's coming in. And then once he gets in, tie him up. Yeah, he playing. He playing, y'all. Good work, toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Banks' work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? I'll take the round. He pulls the trigger on the hook after that block. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Mr. Untouchable so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. You can't have this speed. It's too much for him. Keep it up. Keep it up. <clears throat> Don't let him keep his distance from you, okay? Get your punk ass on the mic, nigga. He ain't gonna get on the mic. I said that was my only stipulation. Listen, you want this fight? You gotta stay busy out there. Get your ass on the mic, bro. Here we go. Round two is underway. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Mr. Untouchable showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Banks is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Nice work blocking that and then an uppercut of his own. Good job with another left hand. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Banks' defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Mr. Untouchable's blocking ability is doing well for him there. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Well targeted right hand by Mr. Untouchable. Handy went. Look. He ain't even reacting to them straights. <laughs> Not able to land the headshot. Ten clicks of the tuck. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Banks is rocked by that. He, he ain't even reacting to oh the straight. Boy, what a break he just I hit him with four of them. 
He not even reacting to them hoes. And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know, and you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to Now you on the mic. Get on the mic. Let's talk. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. I ain't no pushover. Man, that's what I ain't. I ain't no pushover. I can throw mean hands. I can throw some mean ones. Nice work with the combination by Mr. Untouchable. Good job staying away from the danger there. <laughs> Mr. Untouchable's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Bangs has got speed, no doubt about it. You can see his ability to land combinations with ease. He's swatting. What you want to see now is how effective he is down the road with that speed. Does he place his punches? Is he intelligent with that speed? Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Good smooth work by Bang. That's classic counter punching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Man, he ain't responding to them straights. He kind of eating them power straights. Looking normal as hell. He's committed to that left Shit, I be talking about. Face scans. Always avoid face scans, bro. They be cheating. <laughs> and this round comes to an end. Double back jab. Back they be cheating. Them face scans be cheating. You see how he just sitting there eating my power straight, right? No normal person, no normal player will let you just sit there and tee off with a power straight to the face without trying to move or nothing. He's sitting there eating them. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. Listen, I am not going to stand it. So with three rounds complete, we take a look at Teddy's scorecard. Banks is in control of this fight. Teddy, he's earned every round. He has. If you talk about ring generalship, you'd have to salute him. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Side stepping. Not on the front end, but on the back end. Yeah, counter puncher. But he gives one of his own a left hand scores. He scored well after being hit himself. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Mr. Untouchable's not just loading up, he's landing combination punches like he did right there. Banks has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Untouchables putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Banks' knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. Jab right hand. Pulls the 
trigger right away with the left hand at the All right. Finally cut the bitch. He not fighting for real. I can tell. Can't even block that one. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Good defense, just covering up down low. Banks is winning these middle rounds here, and he's doing so with infighting. And that's exactly what he envisioned when this fight started. He wasn't sure he was going to get it, but this is what he was hoping he would get. He's happy right now. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Halfway into round number five here. Move your head. There he goes with the right hand again. Off target with that hook. his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut mr untouchables combination punching is working well here yeah! good work well off the mark by mr untouchable comes right back with a shot of his own oh and he's got something for him himself and it's a left hand <clears throat> about round three minutes gone by in this round <sighs> I'm just trying to win these rounds cuz I know he's not fighting. I know he's not fighting right now. He going to turn up on me. I'm just waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. I know what he is. Locks it away. Banks is keeping his guard up very very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Left and right, left and right. That is Boxing 101, a nice, crisp combination by Mr. Untouchable. Please. Stunned and staggered. He turned things around, and now his opponent has to be asking himself questions. Yeah, he's got to be saying, what do I have to do to get rid of this guy? Halfway through round six. Little volume punching to the body there. See the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. <laughs> Banks is scoring with that right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Mr. Untouchable showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp. Ooh, we going crazy. He said he wasn't good. He good. He can play. Gotta try to do better than that. What? what a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Yo, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. That's the kind of round that tells and that was a tough round right to there. Know about what kind of fight this is. Good. Back and forth action. Both guys hurt. I landed that combo though. Sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape because there's more to come. Sound defense, good block that time by Mr. Untouchable. 
Not using his reach. Not using our reach. supposed to be actually you know the the sweet science it's not supposed to be about going in there and eating punches it's supposed to be about going in there avoiding punches you know finding a way to hit your opponent without him hitting you he understands that really good work right there landing the two punches in sequence what unable to score with the uppercut oh that's crazy Untouchables left now getting into the mix. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Great work offensively landing that combination by Mr. Untouchable. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Bitch, he eating power straights like a motherfucker. Jab and move. Jab and move. Take scorecard at the beginning of round number eight. I'm done. Twelve rounds. What the fuck? Oh, I'm done. I don't need to fight no more. And it's raining a little bit. He just had to worry that it doesn't start raining hard. Mr. Untouchable is putting forth the game plan of being a volume puncher. But, Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches. And what kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit. And, hey, he might not win the fight. He can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? Well placed counter punch by Bane. Solid left hand to the head. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Look at that combination by Bang. Good looking right hand after he got hit. The halfway point of round number eight. Banks is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Hmm. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Mr. Untouchable's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. A good block. I think I won that round too. Signifying the end of the round. Are you feeling like Mr. Untouchable's corner to go. keep him calm? That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fits. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Oh shit. Two-punch combo by Mr. Untouchable. Nice. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting... 
Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Mr. Untouchables found that group. All of a sudden, Teddy, he found the answer. Yeah, well, what happened is he made a little adjustment a couple rounds ago. He started countering a little bit, and now even the aggressive part of the fight is working for him. Good shift in momentum, by Hits him in the mug with the right. Banks' three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Solid right by Mr. Untouchable. Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap there, he let him in beautifully. He didn't use G's, he used distance. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. Mr. Untouchable's tagged by another uppercut. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks Told y'all that's I ain't no pushover. Come on. Let's get this shit cracking. Think you waited too long to try. I have a lot to you. Who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff. And he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you got to do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give mm. him a rope. Give him advice to get down. Watch the headshot. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Mr. Untouchable. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Mr. Untouchable's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, so when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Nothing there on the punch by Mr. Untouchable. He digs into the body again. Oh, shit. Wow, they dirty as hell. They dirty as hell. Good GG. They did me dirty. Gave this nigga a fucking one punch. That shit gay as hell. That shit gay. That shit gay as hell. They gave him a one punch. Wow. Clean shot. This bout ends by way of knockout. You know, obviously I'm not in his body, so you never know what's really going on, but he landed a hundred jabs. I landed everything else. 47 power straights to the We'll see you next time at the fights. I told y'all last. Don't nobody just sit there and eat power straights to the face all day. That's why his ass was quiet. It'd be like that. Let's fight one more. I already knew. I already knew. I thought I was going to go on here and finesse it out. I only got one stun out the whole fight. He was eating power straights. Like Skittles. It'd be like that. I let him talk me into fighting him. Alexander, get the fuck out of here. Cause I'm about to do you so fucking cold. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm pissed off. <sighs> That's crazy. A ninth round one punch. Insane. Yo, come on. What are we doing? You taking that or not? Damn, bro. I don't sit here be waiting and shit. Y'all piss me off. I was about to beat y'all ass anyway. I should have just ran the rest of the fight, huh? Like he hit the one punch, the one punch button on this controller and shit. Like he turned that shit on, cause ain't no fucking way. Not in the night, bro. You don't think I done drained you enough to where you don't got one punch no more. This nigga hit me with one uppercut. This boy hit me with one uppercut and got a one punch, bro. That's crazy. 
85, I don't even think you got one punch potential. I don't even think you got that. <clears throat> Not at an 85. Unless you intentionally maxed out your uppercut or something. I don't know. Because I can't max out shit. to be his ass. I'm pissed off. That fight pissed me off for real, for real. Punch combo by Banks. Well timed by Torres. He took a step back, landed the counter. Punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Bro, why he moving like that? Y'all see how this nigga floating around and shit? This shit weird as hell. His opponent, Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't. He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. Well off the mark by Torres. And he ties up on the inside. Able to get rid of that one. And he decides to tie up again. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Oh, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. 
Halfway through round number two. Banks is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. He just missed that shot up top. They both decide to bring it. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Torres is now showing us something that can have a great impact on this fight, Teddy, and that's his ability to counter. Yeah, he's mixing it up a little bit. We know he can lead, we know he can get off first, but now this dimension serving him well. I don't know, that shit was weird. Making it hard for him to hit you. Lots of smart. <laughs> Mm -hmm. side to side, you understand? Mm -hmm. you need the and round number three is underway. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Two-punch combo by Banks. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Here's a moment here as you see the step-back counterpunch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces him into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. with great defense. He missed with Banks is hurt by that. Torres is put forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination scoring. There it is! Come on, bro. Dad, damn! Right on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not I said, whack as hell. Get to it. This is where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. I should whack as a bitch. He cut. I ain't get a stun yet or nothing. I should lame as hell. Where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate. You know, he's not landing all the time. Clay, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano, you know, the rock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the 8th, ninth, 10th round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. Banks is going out there after just being knocked down in the last round. If you're standing opposite him, what's the mentality? What's the strategy here? Well, you want to go after him, but you don't want to walk into a trap either. You want to kind of size him up a little bit. You want to see if he looks like he's okay, but at the same time, keep in mind that he might be trying to con you. You know you hurt him, so put that pressure on. Come on. What a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. Up top with the right hand.
Oh, he's been reminded about defense. He didn't want that reminder. It just came in the form of a left hook. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Trying to erode away that... Come on, bro. They cheating the shit out of me right now. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Torres is cut. It even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe. But his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Eddie, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Banks is able to avoid that punch. Oh, good exchange there. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Good Bro, come on. Right hand lands. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Able to cover up that gut. Unable to score with the hook. That keeps up. This is going to be a good night. The right hand score. Bro, how many of those I got to hit him with? Come on, bro. That's like 20 of them motherfuckers in a row, bro. That's my strongest punch. The start of the six. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Torres is. And the ref looks at him and says, Big, big shot he just scored with. And he goes down again. That shit gay as a bitch. That shit gay as hell. What the fuck going on with the game right now, bro? Oh. Banks is gonna have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's gotta do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Banks. That's a stinging right hand by Torres. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Come on, man. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. And a sharp counterpunch by Torres. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Torres is not having things go his way tonight, but there's one easy explanation for it. He's barely moving. He's just stationary there. And his opponent's taking great advantage of that. He's coming in, he's finding him, he's giving him angles. You know, I think part of it is... Come on! What the fuck is going on with this game? And right now he's just Come on! Right. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. They act like that shit ain't landing, bro. Quit playing. Quit playing with me, bro. Of course, we're on the road with.
with you every step of the way with a fine crew. We got to give credit to the crew there, Rob. Y'all bitch ass cheating. Doing a nice job all cramped up in a tractor trailer. Yeah, they do a great job. They allow us to go on the air and uh, allow us to do the fun part while they're doing the grunt work. They're doing all the difficult things back there. Of course, Mike, Ryan, all those guys. We appreciate you very much, and um, we're not taking you out to dinner tonight. Keep working the body. That was not well targeted by Torres. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Good exchange. He fires back. He took a goal of it to the body, but came up empty. Come on. Good block. Banks is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch. Running into all these fucking cheaters, bro. Goes up top with a right hand. Banks going about this in a completely different way. He was knocked down, and now he's abandoned everything that he trained up to this point to do. He just threw the game plan away, Teddy. Yeah, now Come on. Bad to that. The good is maybe he had to make a change because. He didn't feel what he was doing was working, obviously, or that it could work throughout the duration of the fight. But the bad to it is also that he's doing something he's unfamiliar with now. And his opponent knows that, too. His opponent, I think, is going to get more aggressive. Torres is scored a pop. Big shot there. Up off the desk and now... We guys, bitch, quit playing on me, cheating ass niggas. Because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless. Come on, I'm all over this bitch. I'm all over this bitch, bro. Quit playing me. Rising back up. That takes some guts. He got hit, but he sent it right back. Cheating ass game. Start round number eight. Teddy scorecard. You can see that he's up there. Uh, you gotta be careful to not come off that gas pedal. Yeah, because you're right. There's a double-edged sword here. Not only careful because you've been scoring, but just by being aggressive, that is what's been keeping your opponent defensive minded. So as soon as you let up off that gas pedal, his hands are gonna start moving. Right, and the judges will notice that right away if the other guy's working. Well, obviously. Banks is really bringing a lot with that uppercut, Teddy. Torres has been hurt. Oh, look at that. He's hurt. But hey, get him off me. He's smart enough to know what to do now. Yeah, the referee needs a crowbar to separate him. And another right hand comes in. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Right to the head with that right. Oh, and they decide to trade there. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Committing now to the left hand, good straight shot. Targeted counter punch by Banks. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Come on, bro. This game cheating like a motherfucker. He gas like that, but he's still throwing full speed. And he's still moving full speed, too. Cheating on his game. Banks is doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Not 
able to land the headshot. Ain't no way hell he throwing that many straights in a row. Man, for a cheater, you definitely is pussy. You definitely is pussy. Get your cheating ass up, bro. Get your cheating ass up, bro. Come on. Get your cheating ass up, man. Get your cheating ass up. Come on. Torres is back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see Stupid. is how he reacts in the next few moments. Stupid. 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 Can't do shit with me, cheating ass nigga. Stupid. Stupid bitch. Quit playing with me, you pussy. Quit playing with me. Get your whole ass up. How I feel to be cheating and getting dogged the fuck out. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. I do it for y'all, YouTube. These bitch ass niggas on this game. Get your bitch ass up. Come get some more. Come get some more. Stupid. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm playing these cheating ass niggas all day. Come on, man. Come on, man. What we waiting for? Bring your bitch ass on. Protecting himself. Torres is thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you he is damn You pussy ass nigga. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Weak ass nigga. No matter what the fuck you do, you go suck at this game. You go suck. You go suck, you pussy. Cheese can't help stupid. Oh, I think I missed, missed the P. Stupid ass nigga. Let's fucking go.
Cheats don't help stupid, you dumbass niggas. Quit playing with me. Hey, y'all, hit the like button and subscribe button, bro. I'm fighting too hard going through this bullshit with these weak-ass fighters on here, bro. It's too much. Some people is too good to be cheating. And then some people just suck so bad even when they cheating. They dog water. Fucking pussy. Who I lose to? Who's the next loss? How I get an ill? It be like that. Fuck them. You bitch. Should I play one more? Fuck it. I'm playing one more. I don't got shit else to do. <clears throat> I need another pup, man. I need another pup. <clears throat> Fuck it. <sighs> Didn't I just beat dude ass? Dog water ass fighters. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside oh, Teddy Atlas. Good evening. And First round underway in this scheduled ten rounder. Combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good combination to the body. Don't walk into it, punch. Come on now. Damn. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Hound Dog. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to... Banks is banged up by a left hand. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. And bang, and away he goes. He just went down. The in-fighter went out. I hate when they do that. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door. And it's All right, come on, let's box. Maybe he's paying the ultimate price. I'm about to box it on. And that's the end of round one. Is Spamming straight. Right I mean, just look at the close up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Keep pushing. Super two punch combo by Banks. Fires right back at him. That was nice. He just threw the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Hound Dog. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. Why the fuck I can't hit this nigga? He right in front of me. Scores up top with a left. Stop, stop. 
Shot by Banks. Let's see some more head moving, Jack. Come on. Able to dismiss that body shot. Yeah, they are. First of all, he throws short punches, and on the inside, that's what you want to do. You don't want to leave an opening where your opponent can counter back. You want to keep everything tight. He throws a beautiful textbook tight left hook. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Rhodes. Well-placed counterpunch by Banks. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Missed the body shot. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Banks, his defense has failed him now. Oh, man, shot after shot coming in. Scored well with that straight left. Back and forth exchange. Banks is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. How about a return to sender with the left hand? <sighs> That's gonna be a tough one, man. Round number four, a chance for us to look at Teddy's scorecard. He's trailing three rounds to zip Teddy. People will be looking at this and say, yeah, but he's throwing punches. But Teddy, it's about throwing clean, effective punches. Exactly. And it's about not standing in front of your opponent after you punch and waiting for the receipt. <laughs> Lance flush with the two punch combo by Banks. Stay on the inside, inside. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Referee gives him the warning for the headbutt. Resourceful one-two combo by Rose. Halfway through this round. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand score. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good work defensively by Hound Dog. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he blew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Rhodes. 
Moses putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Defense can turn into offense. The counter punch by Rose. <sighs> the action starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Big trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. There's an excellent combination by Rose. Hound Dog's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jabs to start it, and then he's letting the punches go, he's letting their hands follow. Oh, what an exchange! Precision work with the left hand by Banks. Goes up top again. Halfway through this round here. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. And now they're trading blows. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Rose. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Banks is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Keep working the body. Keep working the body. Nice strike after catching one by Rose. Push, push. That's it. Sharp and accurate one-two by Rose. A little head hunting with the right. Come on, baby. Blocks away that headshot. Unable to make an impact there by Banks. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with mm. it. And now he's working really well on the inside. Oh, yeah, Joe. You know, if you wanted to get inside a bank ball, right? I'm sure you would. Sure. Don't mind doing that. You have to have the combination. Well, he's found the combination to get there. And you know what? He's grabbing a lot of cash. <laughs> in with the overhand left. Banks' combination punching is working well here. Rose is hit by a counter punch there. Hound Dogs landed a good solid combination. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Hound Dog's coming up with the answer, avoiding that punch. And here they go again, just on a blistering pace. Punch for punch being met by the opponent. Well, when you push a human being into the abyss, into a place that's dangerous, that's scary, either they give in, they fall deeper, or they come out. Both these guys are coming out. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Hound Dog. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. That's it, crazy. And that's the end of round six. Rose is 
got to find a way to take what he just did in that last round and keep that kind of energy moving forward here because I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards in a close fight, very close fight. Yeah, I see it about the same way, but you just said it. It's very important that his corner people now don't really tell him that he's ahead. I think they let him think that if he's not behind, it's a dead even fight. So keep pushing, keep pushing right there. Stay responsible, stay within yourself, but keep pushing. Two-punch combo by Rose. Banks' defense is paying off now. Halfway through the seventh round. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Banks. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Hound Dog's got that catch-me-if-you-can kind of attitude. He's almost daring his opponent at this point to try to land a headshot. But his movement's been so good, his defense is just supreme. Yeah, it is. He's moving from the waist. He's slipping the straight shots. He's reaping the hooks. He's doing a real magical job in there. But his opponent is making no adjustments at all. And now the ref gets involved and warns him for headbutting. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Hound Dog. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Banks' combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three Fuck. punches landed. Start of round number eight. If this was a football game and you looked up at the scoreboard, you may be channel surfing, but not here, not in this fight game, when power punching always gives a guy who's down one last chance. Now you can change the script when you have power. You know, Cinderella could punch like this guy, there never would have been a pumpkin at 12 o'clock. Not able to land the uppercut. Dog's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Banks is now feeling the effect, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, Joe, it's kind of like standing out in the rainstorm with an umbrella and all of a sudden the wind's coming. And the rain's coming from the side. Go! You're standing there under the umbrella and say, why am I getting wet? Well, you're standing there covering up. The punches are coming from the side. They're coming from all angles. You're going to get wet. You're not always protected. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking a shot. That hook was well off the mark. Combo lands to the head. Solid left hand by Hound Dog. Rose is in a tough spot here. He could go down with that bad defense. Oh, he is stuck. Quit fucking playing with me, boy! Wow, is this Stupid stuff? bitch! Let's go. How many rounds I got? I don't got enough time. Because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. Inside, inside. How about that? Another right hand. Come on, man. I'm whooping his ass, bro. Quit playing with me. I gotta do too much to win. That's all they get. Just 60 seconds to deal with the fact that their fighter has an eye that's completely shut. That's all they need. I mean, that's their job. Now they gotta show that they can perform under those conditions. 
Rose is coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. We want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Rose is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And he comes right back with a headshot. They focus on the inside. Good job. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. That is Boxing 101. A nice, crisp combination by Bang. He has found his groove with his right hand. You see, he sits and waits and then strikes with that counter punch by Rose. Rose is a seasoned pro, and old pros tend to fall into the same patterns. Nothing has changed with him stylistically since he's been knocked down in this fight. Well, that falls right into that pattern or that cliche where old dogs can't be taught new. Oh my God, bro! They cheat me. This nigga, bro. Maybe. This nigga got unlimited fucking stam, bro. How many power punches he done through? They cheating. They don't want me to be great. He only even got a fucking cut. What you do? You're winning this one. Don't get sloppy, okay? So keep boxing smart, bro. Throw punches, okay? Don't Man should be dead. He should be dead. They cheated me too hard. I've been doing the same thing since the beginning of the fight, bro. He should be over with. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by May. Nice. Nice. he doing that? That team like a motherfucker, bro. Bro, he should be dead, bro. change something. He needs to move the other direction. Away from that punch. Oh, and the right hand comes in. Come on, bro. Come on. How about that exchange? Banks is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Imagine fucking cheating and going 10 rounds. This game ass for that shit, bro. This shit was cheating the whole fight, bro. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Tonight was exactly what he was looking for. And it's exactly what the judges were. Bro, this shit dumb. This shit dumb, bro. Bro. 
Almost a perfect Come on now. I ain't going to get no loss. Because he was cheating, clearly. He was cheating, clearly. That shit crazy. Fight night be crazy as hell. Watch this. No loss. Because he's a cheater. You don't get your wins when you cheat. His, his, his account is marked. That shit crazy. Bro, how much power do I need, bro? How many of those I hit him with? How many of these I hit him with? I should have stunned him every fucking couple times I hit him with it. That should be crazy. <sighs> Tearing his body the fuck up. But alright, y'all, man. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if y'all haven't already. I'll probably be on tomorrow. Or I might let these breathe, man. If this get 10 likes, I'll fuck a stream.